Good evening. Tonight, the search continues for whoever killed a beloved Madison counselor. Missy Hamilton was found murdered inside her office early this morning. Chris Conti has been following this story all day long, and Chris, I'm sure neighbors are incredibly concerned. And ladies, that's because almost 12 hours later, there haven't been any arrests. Missy Hamilton has just wrapped up a group therapy session at the Crossroads Counseling Center here on South Gallatin Road last night for a group therapy session. What detectives are trying to figure out right now if, is if perhaps it was one of her patients that carried out this crime or if it was completely random. Like, they have to be crazy in order to do something like this. Too close to Christmas, too close for comfort for Katrina Coggins and her neighbors. I can see the crime scene tight from my bedroom window, so it's very scary. And what happened inside this Madison counseling office hits painfully close to home. There's 70 of us that are on this block that are rebuilding our lives, and it's our safe place. So this morning, I don't feel so safe. Having recently been through a recovery treatment program, Katrina has been through similar programs like the ones offered at Crossroads Counseling next door. She could not understand then why anyone would want to murder one of their psychologists. That's really sad, you know, because that woman was dedicating her life to helping others of being of service for someone to take her life is pretty tragic. Last night around 7.30, Missy Hamilton had wrapped up a group therapy session. Around 6.30 this morning, her husband discovered the 50-year-old never came home. Police found her inside her office where she'd been brutally attacked. There was obvious signs of trauma. The medical examiner will determine uh, the cause of death. Detectives spent much of the day trying to determine who was at that counseling session last night and if any of them are suspects. I just pray that whoever did it, they find them for the lady and her family. And so they don't hurt nobody else. Meanwhile, Katrina Coggins and her neighbors remain on edge. And I felt like my safe haven was compromised. Again, again, worth mentioning here that no one has been arrested and police haven't released any kind of suspect description. If you have any information that could help them, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. We should also mention that this is fairly close to where two of those four juveniles were captured last night, the ones who escaped from the juvenile detention center on Sunday. Metro Police telling us this evening that this was not connected in any way. We are live in Madison tonight. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.